everyone, this is Kate Schwanky, and welcome to my packing video for my hospital bag. I'm super excited to be able to use this at the hospital again. This will be the second time that I use the Be Prepared for a labor and delivery bag, and this is packed up for me and my newborn, so it has stuff for both of us inside. As you can see, it's really, really packed. It's huge. <laughs> the Be Prepared holds a ton of stuff, and it's actually GGB's largest diaper bag, so. If you can just see how wide that is. It is a giant bag, but and I have it stacked and packed to the brim. Um, but I really love it for labor and delivery because it has so much organization and so many different compartments that you can keep things in. And I'm going to try and make this video as quick as possible because as I said, there's a ton of stuff in here and there's a lot to go through. So let's get down to it. So first I'm going to go over the outside of the bag and do all the pockets and things and then I'm going to open up the inside and show you guys how I have that organized and how I have it packed up. So first of all, um, on the top here you have two tote straps which are great, but I'm assuming my husband will probably be carrying this bag and more than likely he'll want to use the messenger strap. And this actually comes with the Be Prepared, so I just have it hooked on each side and um, right now it's currently at a shoulder strap length. So he can just throw this over his shoulder and he'd be good to go. So that's what I have on the sides there on the D-rings. On the bottle pockets on the side here, on this side I have just a few necessities for myself. I have a hairbrush, a little travel size one. I have some body wash here by Dove. It's just a little travel size one. And travel size stuff that's really great in these bottle pockets here too. So, and in this one I have my shampoo and conditioner. This is just bed head. Um, double set of conditioner and shampoo and I like to keep these kinds of things in a plastic bag in case they decide to leak But these work really great in this pocket here. That's all that I had in this pocket over here on the other side I have a small be organized piece and it fits perfectly in this side pocket here in here I have my makeup bag. I'll show you guys just a little closer. I don't want to open it up because there's so much in here uh, Well, maybe I might just do a little peek but I have mascara, foundation, an application sponge, some hair ties, which are a huge plus at the hospital. You will need a hair tie if you have longer hair. I have concealer, I have chapstick, which is also another must have, um, and just a few other items that I feel like I would need to make myself feel a little bit prettier after the baby's born. Um, so this fits really great in there and it has some of my big necessities, chapstick and hair ties. Now in the Be Prepared, you actually have two really, really great slip pockets. So I'm gonna go through the back first. In the back pocket here, I have my baby's baby book. I haven't even had a chance to work on it yet, but the C.R. Gibson books are my favorite. I have one for each of my kids. And you'd wanna bring this with you just so that you can get your baby's handprints and footprints in here and maybe write a few other notes that happened on that particular day. So yeah, that is the baby's book. In the very back here, I also have a Super B and the beautiful Donatella Sweet Shop print. This is just in case I get um, some presents or a lot of paperwork and things like that that I would like to keep separated from my big bag. It's always a good idea to have an extra bag with you. So that is why I have that. That's all I had in the very back pocket. As I mentioned, there's another slip pocket in the very front here that is behind the mommy pocket. And in here, I just have a Baby Olay swaddle blanket and it's one of their oh so soft ones in the Sagaro print. And it has cactus all over it, it's so cute. Love it, super duper soft. So I'm going to use this as a swaddle or just as a blanket to keep the baby warm at the hospital. But it's always a good idea to keep a blanket with you just in case. So I have that. That's all I had in this front pocket behind the mommy pocket. Now in the mommy pocket, this time around, I don't actually have all that much in here, but this is a really awesome pocket to store an iPad and a lot of other things in. You have a lot of compartments and things. So in here, I don't have anything in the sunglass holder. I have a pack of tissues here just in case they don't have any in my room or something. Um, I have a lot of allergies this time of year, so I have a little pack of tissues. Right next to that in the mesh pocket, I have my iPhone 7, and that fits really great in there standing up. And then on the key fob here, I have my Be Charged in Donatelle Sweet Shop, and this is working as my wallet while I am at the hospital. It has my driver's license, military ID, it has some credit cards, in the inside here, I also have some insurance cards, which is always helpful at the hospital. So this is working as my wallet. 
And then I also have my keys on there, so in case I have to drive myself to the hospital, you never know. So that's all I have on the outside of the bag, so let's go ahead and jump onto the inside. So this is what the top of the Be Prepared looks like. It actually opens really cool and very wide. So the first thing that I'm going to do instead of opening it all the way is maybe open it only part of the way. That way nothing kind of falls out. But here we go. And that way you guys can just see a little bit how I have it packed up. Well, maybe I'll go ahead and open it all the way up. Why not? There we go. This bag has a ton of space inside. Hopefully you guys can see all of that. There are tons of pockets lining the sides. There's some big slip pockets. There's side pockets over here. It's just, it's really awesome. And if you guys can see how I have this packed up, I've used the Be Organized and I've used set pieces and I did not use any Be Quicks because those were honestly just a little too big for what I wanted and what I needed. So let's go ahead and get started. I think I'm gonna start with the things in the very middle first. So in this here, this is my large set piece in Donatello Sweet Shop. And here I just have a few things for the baby, a little change of clothes for him. I have his going home outfit in here. I'm not going to pull things out, um, but I have a Finn and Emma going home outfit in here. It's really cute. Hopefully you guys will see pictures of the baby soon on my Instagram and things. And I'll link my Instagram account right here for you guys so you can check it out. But I have a little sleeper, I have a romper, and a going home outfit. Just in case, I have the going home outfit is a zero to three month outfit, and the romper is a newborn size. So just in case he's a bit bigger than we expected, he'd fit in the zero to three months. And if he's a little smaller, he would fit in the newborn outfit. I also have a little pair of socks and a little pair of gloves because you don't want them scratching their faces because they do do that. So that is what is in my large set piece. Underneath that, I have this gorgeous labor and delivery robe slash nursing robe from Pink Blush Maternity. This is so pretty, guys. And I will link a video right here for you guys so you can see how this looks when it's on because it's gorgeous and I can't wait to try it out at the hospital. So I have a little delivery robe. On the opposite side over here, I have a medium be organized in the Donatelle Sweet Shop print, my favorite. In here I just have some changes of clothes for me. I have some underwear. I have three pairs. I have two pairs of socks, and these socks are, actually do I have three pairs or two? Two pairs of socks. I'll show you guys these real quick because for me, I tend to get pretty swollen at the hospital after I have had a baby. So um, I got some really, really stretchy socks um, that are pretty forgiving for swollen ankles. So um, that's what I suggest you guys try to get for socks and things. Plus, you don't want to get something too light because you could get very messy during delivery or walking around on a hospital floor. Um, could be really dirty, you never know. <laughs> so um, the black is actually a really good idea for that. And right under those, I have a couple of nursing bras. These are made by Carrie Well. I have a sleeping bra. Um, that's a nursing bra. It's super comfortable. And then I also have a padded one, just in case we have company coming through. Um, I probably want to have myself a little bit more covered up. So I have a padded one also by Carrie Well. And that is all I had in my medium piece. Under that, I have just changes of clothes for myself. This includes some pants and some shirts. I also still need to put a pair of jammies in here for myself, um, but I may just go with the LuLaRoe that I brought with me. So I have two pairs of LuLaRoe pants. This one's just folded. This one's rolled up. And then I have two Loved by Hannah and Eli shirts. This is the large, by the way, if I didn't mention it. Um, but that fits really great on the bottom. So I have one Mama Bear shirt here. Super cute, very comfortable. The Loved by Hannah and Eli stuff is great for pregnancy and beyond. You can use them all the time. And these have worked really great. This is an actual Loved by Hannah and Eli maternity shirt. And I'll probably be wearing that for quite a while longer just because that's how your body works after you have a baby. So I had two pairs of pants and two shirts because I'm assuming that I'll be in the hospital at least two to three days. And I'm hoping that that will get me through. <laughs> so that's all that I had at the very bottom. I wanna go on to the sides next. I did bring a straightener for my hair in the very side pocket here. This is exactly where I kept this last time too. And it works really great. These pockets on the sides are extra tall because of the way this is made. So it's great for things like a hair straightener, 
So I have this all wrapped up and that fits great in there. On the other side here, I just have a toothbrush. It's a brand new toothbrush in a travel case. And then I also have a little travel toothpaste. Now in these back pockets here, I just have a few things to help with nursing for the first time in a very long time, um, such as lactation cookies. So I have uh, one of these lactation cookies here. This is oatmeal chocolate chip, and I also have oatmeal raisin. I got these at Babies R Us. And then also underneath that, I have two that my lovely friend Kate sent me, and these are by Oat Mama. This is peanut butter chocolate chip and nut and berry. She says these are excellent if you warm them up. So um, I don't know if the hospital will do that for me, but if not, they are still supposed to be really good even without. And that just helps with your milk supply coming in. If you're anything like me, it takes my milk five days to come in, which is a very long time. Um, so I'm hoping having these on hand will help a little bit. So next to that, in this back pocket over here, I just have some face wipes. They're makeup remover wipes by Ovino because I don't really want to bring a whole face wash with me. So this is going to help for that. Now that's all that I have on the very back here. I think I'll move this around. We're, we are almost done with this bag, guys. Um, like I said, it just it holds a ton. So in the very back here, hopefully you guys can see this. Um, like I said, this is nursing essentials and things like that. So in the very back here, I have a Baby Olay burp cloth because it's really cute. It's contoured and it's just gonna work really great in the hospital, I think. So just one of those. And then right underneath that, I have my Baby Olay Unikiki nursing cover. This thing is so, so cute. And I also plan to bring my Unikiki nursing pillow as well by Baby Olay. So that should be going with me too, but that's going to be going um, by itself pretty much. I'm not gonna have it in this bag or anything. Um, also next to that, I have my coconut oil because I highly, highly suggest this for nursing moms. This just keeps your um, nipples soft and protected and I used this a ton uh, during my last baby when I was nursing and I didn't have any cracks or pain or anything. It was awesome. So I highly suggest you get yourself some organic coconut oil for that. Right in front of that, in this pocket here, which is the perfect size for a medium set piece. I have some pads, those really heavy, heavy duty ones by Always, um, because I know the hospital provides you with your own lovely set of underwear and pads, but they just are so uncomfortable. Um, and I found that out the first time that I had a baby. And then ever since then, I've decided I'm going to bring my own pads. So these are the most heavy duty ones you can buy from Always. And I have four of them in here. And then I also have some nursing pads just in case my milk does decide to come in early and I don't want leaking all over myself. So um, that's what I have in here. And it's just a great place to keep these because it keeps them kind of unnoticeable. Nobody else will know if they open my bag that that is what is in there. So I really love that. The last thing I have to go through is this pocket right over here. And this is just um, a small set piece in Donatelle's Sweet Shop. I have my phone charging block. I have a phone charging cable. And I have a travel charger. And then the cord that goes with that. And that's just in case my phone needs a little bit of extra juice while I'm at the hospital, which it probably will. I'm probably gonna be on my phone a ton. So <laughs> that is how I have this bag packed up, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you got some great ideas on how to pack your own Be Prepared. Or even if you were using a Jujube Starlet or a Superstar, you can definitely pack similarly because the Jujube pieces, the Be Organized, the Be Sets, Be Quicks, all that stuff is amazing for taking to the hospital. So I highly suggest this, and if you guys would like to shop Jujube with me, I will leave my affiliate link in the description below for you so you can go check that out. I highly suggest to be prepared as your hospital bag. As I mentioned, it's my second time using this particular style in the hospital for both me and a baby, and I loved it last time. It may be big and bulky, but it worked perfect, and it just has so much organization, you won't feel overwhelmed when you're using it. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe while you're here, and leave me a comment below with what your favorite tip was from this video. Thanks for watching.